Hi guys, it's Steven Muniz here at Intrepid. I'm going to review this 475 Panacea with Quad 627S 7 Marine engines. So I'll start from the back here. Looks like he went with a removable uh, rear bench seat. He also he installed uh, plastic deck flooring, something he did after delivery. He's got a really nice setup here. I'll go down there and show you in a second, but basically he's got two rows of forward-facing seats. He's got, instead of a T-top, he went with an arch top. You can see he's got some support to the gunnels and then to the uh, second row of seating. Looks like we went with Garmin radar. He's got handrails there. He's got uh, spotlight, clear night vision, sun pad. And this is cool. He uh, he put the plastic flooring on the on the table. That's your anchor locker. So I'm gonna get on here so I can show you guys. Oh, a couple things. Okay, so his dive door is here. It swings in. There's a fold-out ladder in that hatch there. Bilge area. Fish box. Here's the generator compartment but this boat has a sea keeper 5 so this is normally like a storage or bait well area but what we had to do was we had to put the sea keeper in there and so we kind of made this all one area and so now the the uh the generators in here the sea keepers in there but then there's plenty of space to get down there and uh and work in there Put these speakers in the back. Got a little uh, pull-out refrigerator. I like that. It's a nice idea. Handrails. So that's the second row of seating. Very nice with individual footrests. Looks, let's see what he did here. You can get anything done here. Pull out cooler, pull out trays, pull out uh, drawers. In this case, he has a pull out uh, trash bin. Under the gunnel, put a step. You can get up on the gunnel very easily, or you can just uh, exit the boat that way, or your guests can come on instead of having to jump. You got your fresh and raw water wash down. Let's see how wide it is to walk around the boat. It's really nice. So standard, this is the standard console, right? And you can get a hard glass enclosure similar to this. This is not glass, this is an acrylic. But you can get a, like a glass enclosure. Um, so the reason you see the acrylic there and then you see this windshield is because this is standard and then he got this done after. This is nice. So some people like a nice clean flat look. So in order to recess the garments, the, uh, they customize like a like a dash frame here um, so you can see it's nice and flush really cool 
those screens are really thin anyway, so this is this isn't that thick. It's not like you're uh, wasting any space or anything like that. You could uh, standard is cent uh, the steering wheel is centered. That's the standard way, but we can put it on any side you want. Uh, for example, we we've, we've done another boat where. Uh, this was either on, I think, the starboard or port side, and that was because he had a captain that was full-time, and he didn't want the captain in between the guests, so um, that's why he put it on one side. Uh, here in the United States, uh, the captain is usually the owner, so he wouldn't mind his guests on each side of him. These are the Pompanet individual captain chairs. Uh, standard is, these are standard uh, in this boat. The center one is electric and the two on the outside are manual. So let me back up here. Um, so when you come and you order the 475 Panacea, these are standard but everything behind that and you see you have a lot of space there you can really create anything you want so every customer has done different things uh, in this case he did this uh, we've done rear facing seats we've done full um, you know above deck bait wells with um, with a with a window without a window with a faucet with pull out drawers with pull out uh, tackle stations, uh, storage areas, um, you can do uh, ice makers, refrigerators, coolers. Nice shot of the, the sun pad here. And it looks like he asked for, let's see how this, yeah, this is nice. Let's see, you put different levels. I like this a lot, actually. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Okay, that's cool. That's the hatch. So this is the forward table. Now, normally you'd see a manual one, but in this case, he went with an electric. So with a push of a button, that goes down and... Uh, and then you can put the filler cushion in to fill this all into a big sun pad area. You can do a lot of stuff under the gunnels. So it looks like what he did here was he put a pull-out cooler. This cooler has a drain. It's insulated. This is really nice. Uh, you've probably seen it on our 40 cutties on the port side. Everybody likes that, so we did that same idea here. And if you look, there's so much room to do a lot of things uh, under the gunnel. Uh, we've had customers put uh, storage for really big umbrellas, or you can do dive tank racks. Imagine all the dive tank racks. We cut out the, the floor and we make it nice and recessed. Uh, you can do a lot of stuff down there. You can put uh, rod racks looks like he went with another so he went with another cooler there under the, the gunnel let's see what he did on this side here oh another trash bin okay so he's got he's got a trash bin on both sides um, again we can do whatever you want there I can see he's got uh, bow and stern thrusters, which is nice, and um, the ZF joystick that you get with the seven marine engines, if you get that option, will work with the bow thruster and the stern thruster. Um, you could look up ZF and, and, and seven marines and see how and get a little more information on that if you want. But, uh, 
So I opened up the hatch just so you can see. Normally this hatch has storage and you can turn it into a bait well. But what we did is we cut it open, made it bigger, because of that diesel generator is usually where the sea keeper is. Um, and so this is the setup that uh, you would have if you had the sea keeper. Coming down the steps, you got here, he's got dedicated storage for dive tank, three dive tanks. You could see the generator with the sound shield. And then turning over here, you got the uh, batteries. So this is something a lot of people don't usually see, but look at the wiring that Intrepid does. Look how neat they are with everything. Just give you a nice example of the wiring. It's like, it's really, really neat. I mean, it's almost like artists. So I'm really proud of that. Got your batteries here, batteries on that side, and then your Sea Keeper there. Look up Sea Keeper. You'll, uh, you'll find a lot of information on them. Basically, it's a big gyro system that stabilizes the, the boat. So there's another shot. Yeah, so that Sea Keeper is really cool. Uh, a lot of people think it just stabilizes when you're kind of anchored out in uh, in rough seas, but actually when you're driving, uh, it'll stabilize you too. Yeah, look them up. Okay, so starboard side of the gunnel, underneath you see some rod racks. You see another pull-out uh, cooler, so he's got He's got, he's got three total, two on the port side and one on that starboard side. Okay, let's walk down the steps into the cabin. So you've got three steps walking down. Then in front of you, you see the galley. You've got uh, fridge, some storage, faucet, stove. Now you can put the stove if you want you don't have to have it most of this is standard so um, he went with a glossy uh, veneer you can get a matte finish there's some storage microwave hanging locker wood floors here is the uh, v-berth that table will go down that's the filler it'll fill in and turn into a bed. These back uh, backrests. Uh, I'll show, actually, I'll show you how it works. So there's a pin back here, and you see how I can slide it out. So that pushes in, so you can have a little bit more room to sleep. You can bring it out, so it's kind of in line with this backrest, and you can sit up and uh, and uh, sit around this table. Um, so this is the cabin. You can dress up the walls however you want, but that's standard. Uh, he went with, uh, I guess he wants privacy, so instead of tinting the windows, he actually um, made it so you can't see through, but it does still allow um, uh, natural light to come in. Same thing with the above hatch. So there's plenty of light in here, even though um, you can't see in or out. On this side, you've got some drawers. That's the filler for the forward outside uh, uh, table that turns into a sun pad. So this area right here, we can do a lot here. We can do uh, a little uh, seat here, really comfortable with armrests. We can make this all into a uh, locker, uh, put some rod rods in there. We've done that before. We can turn it into a closet for whatever you want clothes or just make it a big storage bin so you can just imagine uh, this coming up all the way to the ceiling two doors and uh, just like a, like a big storage area um, we could put anything you want shelving um, you can dress it up however you want 
So here is the head. Uh, right now the medicine cabinet's here, but the, the, the panel is in there uh, behind that uh, mirror. I'll show you. See, it's a mirror. And a little ventilation to the outside there. So you've got an electric uh, flush toilet, faucet, cabinet, and then if you close this door, you've got a full shower here. With, uh, with its own door. So regarding our veneer, uh, just a thin strip. This is all fiberglass behind here. Uh, for example, if I open this, you can see that this is all uh, one solid piece, you know. And so that's that's really nice because on on other boats, you know, it's all wood. Um, so the drawers also. The drawers are uh, stainless steel. All our drawers, slam proof. That's basically it. Our, our Corian uh, solid surface countertops, everything's Corian. Back outside. Um, I think I went over everything. I don't want to make these videos too long. Um, if you want me to do anything specific or answer any questions, you can give me a call or comment below. Um, again, subscribe and like the video and I'll do more videos for you guys if you guys want to know how fast this boat goes with those quad 627s uh, probably top speed is around 74 miles per hour cruising about 50 miles per hour if you want to know things like that just give me a call uh, we can talk about it and discuss it I really enjoy talking about the boats so give me a call See you guys next time.